Ok, so hello everybody, we're live again uh, with the um, Wines of Italy live stream uh, with me, Catalina, from Great Point Adventures on my blog. And today our guests are uh, Federica and Gianluca from Tenuta Belvedere, which is a winery in Otto Pavese. Uh, so, for the first time, I have a winery from uh, Lombardia. So, we're going to learn more about wines that are produced in the Ultra Pavese area. So, for those of you who doesn't know these wines yet, they have some uh, native or indigenous grape varieties, and they also are well known for making sparkling wine with uh, Pinot Noir. Uh, yes, but we're Speaking only in in, uh, in English, so don't worry, David. Uh, and if they need to speak something in, in Italian, I will translate afterwards. So, uh, Federica, do you want to start by presenting yourself, uh, Gianluca, and your winery? Yeah, sure. Hello, everyone, uh, every wine, wine lovers. And uh, we are uh, in uh, um, Lombardy. And uh, here we are, uh, Federica and uh, Gianluca yeah. Cabrini. Cabrini. Well. Ah, okay. Go. Uh, so, uh, um, just to a uh, few uh, words about uh, our cellar. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, Tenuta Belvedere uh, is uh, uh, the uh, continuation uh, of a family uh, passion and uh, tradition winemaker. Uh, and uh, in uh, uh, 2013, uh, we decided to uh, uh, renovate uh, our cellar. Um, in Spegni un attimo lì, per favore. Um, we uh, we renovated uh, the cellar uh, that was uh, of my grandfather, and uh, he uh, started uh, his uh, the, the production of the wine uh, in after the Second World War, and uh, he continued. Uh, until uh, uh, the 90s, uh, about the 90s, when uh, he was uh, old and stopped uh, the, this, uh, this job. Uh, so um, we, uh, we decided so to uh, renovate and uh, make uh, this, uh, uh, this passion our job and uh, <clears throat> So uh, we uh, do uh, some uh, some uh, uh, reconstruction of uh, the, um, the the winery. Uh, we um, divided our cellar in three uh, era. Uh, the first one uh, dedicated only to the wine making. Uh, the second one uh, for the bottled uh, of the wine, and the third one uh, is uh, uh, only for the spumante. Uh, and all the, all the, the seller the, of uh, the winery uh, is uh, uh, controlled, uh, temperature controlled, and uh, uh, we. Uh, um, put uh, uh, we take care of uh, uh, the this, uh, this um, uh, the, for the for the for the temperature uh, because uh, we do the spumante the classic method. So uh, the third part is uh, is the best one. We we think is the best one uh, and. Uh, um, we uh, put there our spumante that uh, uh, we may, maybe we uh, uh, we drink uh, uh, in a few years. We, so you're <laughs> I hope. you're typical. So you're uh, you're typical. You're typical. Uh, you're typical, sorry, you're typical uh, your typical grape varieties are Pinot Noir for the for the sparkling wine, correct? 
Yes, correct. Uh, and also we make uh, uh, red uh, sparkling wine uh, that is called uh, Bonarda. And it's a uh, <clears throat> uh, blend of three grapes. Uh, the the um, Croatina, it's an uh, indigenous local uh, grape. Um, Barbera and uh, 5% Barbera and 5% Uvarara, 90% uh, Croatina. And it's blended all, uh, um, uh, already in, uh, in the vineyards. And uh, it's uh, uh, vineyards, uh, old vineyards, uh, uh, 50 mm. old vineyards. Uh, so if you would... Uh talk a bit more about the, the vineyards perhaps so do you are you an organically I mean do you do organically farming in your vineyards or are you certified or uh, because I know that, that people are interested in knowing about mm -hmm. if, if there's organic farming and uh, the treatments you do in the vineyards and similar uh no so we don't have the uh, any certificate uh, for uh, for the moment uh, but uh, uh, we don't use uh, uh, chemical mm. fertilizer for example or uh, um, uh, any additional chemical additional uh, for uh, in the vineyards and also in the cellar uh, because uh, uh, for example in the cellar uh, we don't use uh, uh, the sulfites uh, uh, and uh, uh, this is uh, important from the vineyards to the cellar uh, to uh, um, continue the, the, the philosophy mm. of our company. So it, it's important, it's very important uh, uh, for us. Uh, mm, for just to do, uh, just to not uh, uh, add uh, any any sulfites, we um, harvest uh, healthy grapes, just healthy grapes. So um, when uh, it's uh, when the, the maturation is uh, balanced, uh, we um, harvest and pick out uh, by end, pick by end. And uh, uh, mm, uh, put uh, uh, the grapes in uh, 18 ki uh, kilos uh, baskets, and uh, then uh, 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 only uh, only in uh, for in uh, in the morning and until uh, the noon, and uh, then uh, after in uh, in cellar. Uh, yes. The um, yes. So, do you know uh, which are the differences in harvest time for the Pinot Noir uh, versus the Bonarda and the uh, Interlatin and the other wines you make? Are there are there a huge time difference between the the harvest of of the different grapes? Uh, yes, the, the Pinot Noir um, we harvest uh, uh, in uh, in the first uh, uh, the Pinot Noir uh, in the first uh, in the last uh, part of August and uh, um, maybe first uh, uh, first part of September and uh, uh, Croatina uh, in the last part of uh, uh, September first uh, first uh, week uh, of uh, October and uh, uh, the harvest uh -huh. is uh, it's the same uh, because uh, we put uh, the grapes in uh, in the basket uh, 18 kilos basket um, and uh, immediately in uh, in the cellar uh, but uh, the uh, uh, the vinification is different. It's really different because uh, uh, one it's um, uh, white and the other one it's uh, red. So uh, we have to uh, for the Pinot Noir uh, we have to separate immediately the um, yes. uh, the must from so, the. So uh, yeah. just a curiosity because you also do a, a white wine with Pinot Noir, no? That you vinifying white. So yes, I don't know if you can say something uh, about the, the, the particular because I don't know if everybody knows how how vinification in a red vinification but in white is done. I mean, just some simple words. You don't have to describe the whole process, but. 
Okay, uh, just for the white, uh, white it's, a, it's a typical uh, uh, local wine, uh, the white uh, sparkling wine, and in particular the Pinot Nero. Uh, in, in Italian it's called mm. Pinot Nero vinificato in bianco. Um, and uh, uh, we do this, this one because it's a traditional wine, and uh, um, we... Uh, um, we uh, so we do this wine uh, first of all because it's a, a typical wine and because also uh, we do the yes. classic method. So uh, the first part of the uh, must we uh, put for the classic method. It's uh, called uh, uh, the best, uh, the best must, uh, not the first one, uh, and mm. it's the most elegant. Uh, and the second part uh, we use uh, for the Pinot Noir. So the, the vinification oh, okay, is the okay. same. Uh, we press uh, the grapes and uh, we, we don't put the, uh, the must uh, contact with the, 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 the skin mm. of the, the grapes. Uh, and then uh, we, uh, we put uh, this, uh, this wine in uh, mm. inox yeah. tanks. Mm and uh, uh, we do a second fermentation in these inox tanks and it's a different it's different be between it's a difference between uh, the uh, white wine okay, and the spumante wine yes <laughs> so this is uh, <laughs> this is uh, this our is, uh, spumante no, uh, no, 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 this is uh, Spumante, uh, okay. Metodo Charmat. Vediamo anche il Pino Nero. No. Uh, but, uh, you you yes, can well, see uh, no. also the uh, Pinot Noir, uh, uh, sparkling Pinot Noir yeah. uh, on the website. And uh, uh, in, uh, uh, for this year, uh, we have uh, a new entry. <laughs> that is called... Uh, ah, yeah. okay. Vai. Yes, it, it's a uh, refermentato uh, and um, so uh, it, yes, it's early uh, because uh, we don't uh, did uh, we don't uh, um, sorry uh, we don't uh, make okay. any uh, filtration. Okay, uh, so. Uh, it's strange, maybe um, it's strange. It's uh, and uh, there's a, a second fermentation oh, okay, okay. in the bottle. Oh, that's very interesting. Oh, it's okay. sparkling, yes. And it's uh, uh, a white, uh, uh, it's the um, so it's the... Pinot Nero al 70%. E 30% di Riesling Italia. Ok, Gianluca says uh, 70% of Pinot Noir and uh, 30% of uh, uh, Riesling. Ah, okay. Italian Riesling. So, uh, yes. If anybody has any questions, there was a question from Elena because she, I think she just uh, started listening. So uh, she wanted to know which grapes you use, which is of course is then Pinot Noir or uh, Pinot Nero and uh, Riesling and Bonardo and Croatina. Do you have any other grapes? Or? Um, we have also, yes, uh, Riesling uh, okay. Renano, uh, yes, uh, we do also this, uh, this, uh, this wine, we, we make uh, this wine, uh, it's uh, just a little, a little uh, vineyards that uh, we have on, uh, and it's put on uh, uh, um, la miniera, miniera di jazz, Chuck, uh, Chuck, uh, it's Chuck uh, the, the, the Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, uh, <laughs> uh, it's uh, the other uh, white wine. In its steel. Uh, your top wine would be the the sparkling wine. Or would you consider any of the reds your top wine? Would you consider all wines equally? I, I guess it depends on uh, no. uh, on the on the taste too. It depends. We have uh, the, the traditional wines and uh, uh, not traditional, but for us, uh, all 
our wines are top. Uh, uh, this is uh, the other, and this is uh, the uh, cochinea, and it's still. It's uh, the red steel uh, wine. Uh, it's 100% uh, Croatina. Uh, so, if uh, uh, we have uh, in uh, uh, some wines the traditional uh, for the vinification, uh, in the other wines uh, we have uh, the uh, grapes, mm. the traditional grapes. Also, if uh, uh, there are still so the traditional method, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, io lo farei magari per il pubblico. Per yes, just a second, Caprino. Capire un po' mh, sì. brevemente: abbiamo il pino nero nelle mm -hmm. tre varianti, mm -hmm. e poi perché Monte Calvo è terra del pino nero. So, uh, Gianluca says that uh, uh, just okay. to say a few words about the area where we are. Um, we are in Monte Calvo, the Arsigia, this is our municipality, and uh, it's Oltre uh, Popavese, uh, it's in the southern part of uh, uh, Lombardy, and it's uh, about uh, 60 kilometers from so uh, Milano so and uh, uh, 60 from. Uh, the time. Uh, yes, it's 30 mm. kilometers from Pavia, mm. uh, university, famous for university, and uh, um, it's a, a cold, uh, cold uh, terre mm. of uh, Pinot Noir, yeah. um, because uh, uh, this is uh, only for Monte Carlo del Sigia, that is our municipality, not for all Oltre okay. Popavese area. And uh, uh, this is uh, because uh, we have a uh, 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 calcareous uh, clay uh, soil of origin, uh, marina, marine origin. And uh, uh, so uh, the largest uh, grapes is uh, uh, cultivated is uh, Pinot Noir. Mm. Uh, so we do Pinot Noir for, for the um, for, um, uh, largest part, and uh, uh, the other uh, the other wines are from uh, uh, so Croatina indigenous uh, it's indigenous one and uh, um, Riesling. Mm. Not not so much. Mm. And not uh, uh, international grapes. Uh, we prefer because uh, we cannot uh, consider uh, Pinot Noir uh, international for us. Yeah, because yeah, international grapes of the, the local soil, yeah. no? the Pinot Noir grown. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you would talk about the specific, uh, some specific character of the of the terroir where you are, you said it was uh, old shark mines. But are there anything other particular about the soil, which give the the wines a particular uh, taste or flavor? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, as I say, uh, it's a uh, calcareous uh, clay um, of uh, origin marine, marine origin, and uh, also, uh, so we, we have uh, uh, a good minerality for, uh, for, for our wines, and it's important that uh, this, uh, so the soil and uh, the um, uh, the temperature, the uh, uh, the, the large uh, um, difference between the night and day for the temperature uh, can makes uh, uh, the, uh, the can make the the the, uh, uh, the condition for uh, a good uh, cultivation of uh, the Pinot Noir. Yes. That is important mm -hmm. for us. Uh, in and. For example, in this uh, in this uh, harvest, uh, we uh, could uh, um, see that uh, um, the balanced uh, temperature between uh, night and day, uh, so uh, hot mm -hmm. in the day, and not but not so much. Uh, and uh, uh, cool and cool in uh, in the mm. in the night uh, mm, made uh, uh, a perfect maturation of the grapes. 
So uh, nice, nice, uh, nice harvest, uh, and thanks to the to the soil and the, the temperature, it's uh, it's a good okay. mix. <laughs> uh, no, I forgot what I wanted to ask. Um, oh my god, I forgot. Uh, do you want to add something about this, about this year's harvest, or uh, do you want to continue talking more about uh, your wines? Because we also have the red ones, like uh, the Latina and the Modanta, if you talk something about the, the specific... Yes. Okay, uh, so um, for uh, our red wines, so we can talk about uh, our red wines. Uh, the first one is uh, uh, Bonarda, and it's uh, uh, the sparkling one. Uh, Bonarda, uh, uh, I have to uh, remind that uh, Bonarda, it's not the grape. And it's uh, uh, because there's also uh, the grape called Bonarda, but it's not uh, of our uh, landscape. Uh, it's uh, a yes. Piedmont uh, grape. So uh, and this is important because Bonarda is only the, the, name, of the name of the wine. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it's a mix of three grapes, Croatina, uh, for us is 90%, it's about 90%, 5% uh, uva rara, uh, that's it, uh, that it's uh, uh, another uh, local grapes, and 5% uh, uh, Barbera. Okay. And uh, for us, in our vineyards, uh, it's uh, mixed uh, already in, uh, in the vineyards. Mm -hmm. Uh, so when we harvest, we harvest all together these three grapes, and uh, uh, so uh, after uh, for the vinification, uh, for us for our red wines, uh, we put only in the cement. So for the Croatina and for the Bonarda, only the cement. Uh, for the, the for the tanks, so no uh, um, no inox uh, uh, um, exception for the Bonarda that uh, makes uh, a second fermentation in the inox tank uh, to make uh, yeah. the sparkling, uh, and uh, this is the uh, how can I say uh, the um, most. Uh, uh, um, modern uh, method to, to do yeah. the sparkling because, yeah. uh, uh, for example, my grandfather uh, made Bonarda, but uh, uh, it was uh, um, a second fermentation oh, okay. in the bottle. Oh, so, okay. yes, just like uh, a classic oh. method. And uh, okay. we, uh, uh, we are thinking about to uh, do another, uh, to do the, the Bonarda with, with this old, uh, method and uh, yes, and back. to to go back uh, to the origin. Oh, nice! Oh, nice! And uh, the second uh, red wine, uh, so it's Cochina and it's a uh, um, red uh, our red steel wine. Uh, it's a uh, one hundred percent Croatina, and it's another vineyard uh, that we uh, used uh, for this wine, and it's uh, uh, thirty uh, years old. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, the same vinification of the Bonarda, but without the second fermentation. So you only do steel. You so you only do steel. Uh, you don't do any. Well, another uh, another thing I, I can say uh, it's uh, uh, that uh, um, Croatina uh, we can uh, pair with uh, red meat or uh, pasta with uh, with the ragu, for example. Uh, and uh, uh, Bonarda uh, be because of the uh, bubbles, uh, could uh, uh, be uh, interesting with uh, uh, fat dishes. Mm. Uh, mm, 
um, maybe uh, roasted uh, um, dishes uh, and uh, in, in general fed dishes uh, because the, the bubble can clean uh, the mouth. The mouth after yeah. yes, but I was also wondering if you only do in the in the in the vinification process. Do you only do steel tanks, or do you use also oak wood? Uh, we use also oak uh, for uh, not for uh, the red uh, wine. Uh, wine. Uh, we use uh, uh, for the. Pinot Noir uh, in red, oh, okay. mm, but uh, uh, yes, uh, we have uh, in our winery uh, Pinot Noir, but uh, we we will uh, drink uh, in uh, maybe some years. I, I not not now. Not it's not uh, it's okay. not ready. Okay. Yeah. And we use for also for the uh, okay. Riesling. It's a French, uh, French okay. wood. Uh, so, if we talk a bit more about um, the sparkling wines again, the white wines. So, the uh, what would be your uh, yes. what's the um, best uh, food pairing if you to, if you think both regional and general? Oh, uh, so for the Pinot Noir, uh, uh, sparkling, uh, sparkling uh, white, uh, well, we can say that uh, uh, it's good for uh, uh, with eggs, for example, uh, with uh, uh, rice uh, uh, dishes and pasta dishes, uh, but. Um, delicated flavor, not uh, uh, not strong, uh, and uh, I um, uh, we we used for example in a, in a dinner uh, paired with uh, uh, truffle truffle a tartuffi truffle, and it was uh, nice, very nice. Uh, for uh, the Pinot Noir, for the mummy, uh, that is, uh, that is uh, our um, spumante, uh, we can uh, pair with uh, wool uh, meal. And uh, so, because uh, it, it's, uh, the, the bubble is uh, uh, more, more interesting than, uh, uh, than, than the, the Pinot Noir. Uh, so uh, it's uh, spumante. So if you like, uh, uh, if you like uh, the bubble, uh, I think it's uh, it's better uh, to uh, eat uh, with uh, with this wine. Um, another thing I was curious about uh, that I didn't ask you about before because I didn't I forgot about <laughs> is I read on your website that you don't add any sulfites to to your wines. So I don't know if you can say something about that because I think it's it's interesting for for also a more international audience uh, to know that. Yes. Sure. Uh, we uh, don't use uh, sulfites uh, for the red wine wine um, and uh, we follow uh, we can say three uh, basilar rules uh, to uh, to work in this way, uh, and in particular, uh, in particular, uh, the grape uh, that we uh, harvest, uh, we uh, we pick by hand, and uh, we uh, we put uh, these grapes in this uh, small uh, basket. Uh, yes, and uh, uh, so uh, we um, we pay attention that uh, the, uh, um, mm. the, the the skin nice. of the uh, uh, of the grape. Uh, uh, yes, uh, and uh, we harvest also the uh, the grape in the morning until uh, uh, the noon, and uh, not. Uh, uh, not for, uh, with uh, with the um, ah. with the with the hot temperature, and uh, uh, we um, we leave uh, the the grape uh, at the uh, cool and uh, the natural cool uh, of the winery that uh, is uh, um, located in in the, uh, on the north. 
so it's, uh, it's cool. Uh, and uh, uh, we um, do the wine making uh, in the Perfect. next morning. And uh, uh, the other uh, important truth that it's uh, uh, to uh, mm. harvest uh, healthy grapes. So uh, only healthy grapes uh, can uh, uh, can permit uh, to uh, not mm. uh, did okay. any sulfites. Uh, okay, that's very interesting. Mm. Um, so, would you say that it uh, have any influence on the on the flavors of the wine that you don't add any, or does it have any? What's the the positive effects on the wine of, of not adding sulfites? Uh, <laughs> dunque, uh, well, the <laughs> la. No, uh, it, it doesn't uh, change uh, uh, the flavor uh, without uh, sulfites. And uh, we will see, uh, also for us, it's, uh, uh, it's a match. Uh, we will see uh, in the year uh, how this, uh, this wine evolves, uh, evolves uh, uh, without, uh, without sulfites. Um, I think that... Uh, we, yeah. it okay. would be good not uh, it's not uh, it's not a problem because uh, uh, we have uh, the, the, also the acidity of the uh, of the wine that uh, can, can that, um, preserve 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 yes. the, uh, <laughs> uh, preserve, no, I mean, of uh, preserve the, uh, the wine just, uh, thinking if it if it has any influence for the which you just said for the wine and the, the preservation and the, the which you just uh, explained. So I didn't really think either that it would have any influence on the taste, but I was just curious also for the for the people listening to us. Um, another question that I'm, people might want to know is is what what are the typical um, aromas and notes uh, if you take for example the the Cochinea, the the, the Croatina, hundred uh, percent. Because you told you told us that they're very mineral and, and uh, due to the soil. Uh, are there any other typical flavors or uh, mm -hmm. aromas that that is typical for your area? Uh, <laughs> uh, for the Cochinea, we can say that yeah. is uh, uh, fruity. Uh, like Bonard, uh, but Cochina, it's uh, uh, just a little bit more. Uh, oh, it has a lot of tannins. Mm. Yeah, a, a little bit more of tannins uh, than the Bonard. Uh, so uh, we have um, the, the Bonard, that it's uh, more. Uh, um, uh -huh. Around uh, and uh, uh, cochinia, it's uh, uh, more particular, more uh, I think uh, uh, more interesting for uh, for this uh, for uh, this, uh, this typical uh, um, kind of uh, tannins, but. Uh, uh, for the, for the beans uh, is uh, uh, fruity the fruity of uh, uh, of the the wine okay. uh, it's the flavor yes uh, fruity. red uh, red uh, uh, red fruit uh, and uh, yes uh, I was thinking for those people who fruity. perhaps doesn't know the the Delta Pavese uh, kind of denomination. Uh, so generally, it's a sparkling wine made with the Charmat method, no? Or do you, is there a lot of a uh, uh, method too, or do you mainly use Charmat method? We, uh, for now, we do only Charmat, uh, but we did uh, classic method, and it's uh, now uh, on on the lease, uh, and uh, we we will uh, see maybe uh, in the 
2018, maybe 18. Uh, so uh, for the moment, uh -huh. only okay. we do only the Sharmat method. Yes. It's available, uh, it's better, it's, okay. it's available only the Sharmat okay, uh, method. So, now I lost uh, the live stream here. Uh, anything else you want to, to add? Do you think that uh, people should know about your winery that is typical for... Uh, I mean, if you, if you would uh, tell something to one of our listeners that you think is is typical and important to know about your about your winery, is there anything you would like to add? Yes, uh, our wine it's uh, it's young because we are uh, uh, young, uh, but uh, but it's uh, uh, a, a, a continuous of a, a, a traditional uh, wine making uh, passion. Uh, so we uh, we mix uh, the uh, the young and the old. Uh, also for for the uh, for the um, uh, wine making uh, method we we mixed uh, the old and we uh, we try to uh, to do uh, the old method uh, just like yes. the, the the first uh, the buy and uh, maybe this year uh, the uh, the new bonarda uh do with the uh, with the the classic method and uh but uh mm. with uh, uh new technology uh, so it's uh i yeah, think so it's, so. it's a good uh, uh so mix. laura wants to know if you they can find your uh, wines in the in the states are you exporting <laughs> <laughs> no not yet <laughs> not yet <laughs> we hope <laughs> Yeah, we hope to, to export uh, uh, soon, but not, so uh, not for now. In Italy? But do, they, do you have any yeah. distributors in Italy or do people need to, to write you directly? Uh, it's better to write uh, us uh, directly. And uh, yes, yeah, so we, uh, we sell our wine in, all in Italy and in particular in the northern part of Italy. But if uh, they uh, send a so mail, you, uh, if, if somebody sends an email from uh, from abroad, would you send them? Okay. <laughs> yes. Well, I think if, send, if you uh, send the them one. a mail, if you're very okay, sure, friends, I think they will send it to you. <laughs> uh, okay. I think we have covered a lot of questions. Anything else you want to to say or about your wines? Uh, so. Uh, I still haven't uh, tasted your wines. I mean, I've tasted some other from your region, but not yours specifically, but I'm soon going to. <laughs> so I don't know, I, all of you who are listening here, if you have any questions, uh, please ask them. I see that Matteo is here listening. Uh, so otherwise, I think um, we will just... Uh, and this this uh, wines of Italy live stream for today, and I think we learned a lot about uh, wines from Oltre Po Pavese, at least also me, because I realized that uh, I was thinking about the Bonarda from Piemonte, so I didn't remember <laughs> it's that it's the actually a Bonarda mm -hmm. which is the wine. So I, I apologize. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> also Bonarda in Argentina. Which somebody made a question about here. So yeah. I'm sorry, David, but I think I, I have to answer you. Yeah. Uh, separately again. Anyway, uh, that was my fault. Um, I of course knew it, but I didn't remember. So uh, I don't know. Let's see if somebody on on uh, Facebook has any more questions. I don't think so. But there was a lot of people today, so I'm very happy that you uh, wanted to be my guest today. And um, we will then uh, Thank put. You. Um, I will put the. the this live stream on YouTube uh, next week, so you can also rewatch it. Um, and next Tuesday, we will have Livio Del Chiaro here, who is a sommelier from Florence, and he will talk about uh, the, the wines that we can taste at the slow wine event in Monte Cattini in the weekend. Uh, 
so if you're interested about the, the, the this year's wines that entered the slow wine guide, uh, he's going to talk about that. So thank you, Federica, and uh, thank you, Gianluca. <laughs> thank <laughs> and, you, Gianluca. Uh, Thank you very much for being Thank here, you. and uh, mm -hmm. I hope to. Well, I will see you in uh, in Bolzano in two weeks. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so thank in you very weeks. much, and uh, <laughs> we'll see you next Tuesday to the rest of the <laughs>